My name is uh, Ricardo Bouillet. The thing I love most about photography is just how expansive it is. Because yes, you're framing something and you're limiting it to that, but you can do so much with it afterwards. You have this whole world in front of you. I mainly work with photography, well, with digital photography, mainly because I didn't have the exposure to film, and I didn't have like the resources to be taught film necessarily. So I just taught myself digital because my parents uh, gave me this uh, DSLR when I was a sophomore in high school. My process really um, is just a lot of layering, a lot of um, stitching images together because I use a 50 millimeter lens, so it's fixed focus. And I do a lot of uh, surrealistic coloring. Um, and yeah, that's just my process. There's a lot of uh, layers <laughs> and textures and a lot of frustration with the computer screen in my eyes. Uh, this Center of Fine Art Photography, it's located in Fort Collins. They were holding a Wondrous Indeed exhibition uh, that was directed by Philip Toledano, who was a fine art photographer. And they were having uh, open call submissions back in uh, October, November around there. And I just stumbled upon it because I was Googling places to submit. <laughs> and so I just submitted out of a whim and they ended up emailing me saying, you know, you're one of the selected uh, artists that we want to feature. And they chose two of my images. They actually gave one of them honorable mention, which was the Freedom and Youth one. So I made this collective, like five dancers or so, just clumped together in the center. And I took their heads out and put in these red leaves just circling around them because um, I, like, I have this theme in my work that's about um, existential beauty, where it's uh, beauty that's beyond ourselves, it's beyond our skin, it's beyond um, our own comprehension. And that's something that we can't attain ourselves. So that's why I remove the face, I remove skin, I remove that because it's more than what we are, it's more than us. My work is really not so much for myself but for the viewer. It's um, me trying to promote a sort of visual therapy without the notion that it's therapy, without the connotation of the doctor's office or anything because my work is pretty, pretty much inspired by cinema, uh, music, and poetry that all resembles or is about traumatic experiences. What I'm trying to do is extend a hand or an invitation to people who don't want to have that conversation that's too hard to have and just look at my photo and just breathe, breathe it out. Mm -hmm. Like, dump your emotional baggage onto me, onto this image, and know that you're going to be okay. That's what my mission is.